in order for us to calculate the geometric mean for group D data, we need to do it as follows. We need to come up with such a table which consists of five columns. And the first column as indicated is for class. And what we fill under this class column are these classes that we have been given in the question. Therefore, we just fill them downwards like that. Then we need to calculate the midpoint X. This one is calculated by taking these figures, we add them, divide by two. So zero plus four gives us four, divided by two gives us two. Five plus nine is 14, divided by two gives us seven. 10 plus 14 is 24, divided by two gives us 12. This one, if you add them and divide by two, you get 17. 20 plus 24 divided by two gives us uh, 22, and this one will give us 27. For frequency, we don't calculate. We just take these values corresponding to the frequency and list them column-wise like that. Then we need this total for this column F. So if you add them, if you add these figures, all these values, you will get that as the answer, 30. Now, for this column, for logarithm x, we need to look for the logarithms of column x. Our column x is this one. Therefore, logarithm means we lo get the logarithms for these values. Log 2 is 0 0.2010. Log 7 is 0 0.8451. Log 12 is 1.0792. That is log 17. Log 22 is 1.3424. And log 27 is 1.4314. Then the last column here is f log x, meaning we shall multiply values in log f, in, in, in column f, times the corresponding values in uh, log x column. In other words, we shall take values from this column times their corresponding values in this column. So the first one is 3 times 0 0.2010, giving us that. 5 times 0 0.4451, giving us that. 9 times 0 1.0792, giving us that. 7 times this, giving us this. 4 times 1.3424, giving us that and two times this giving us that. When we are done, we have to add this so that we get the total. That is what we have as summation f log x, which is that 1.3865. Now with these two totals, we can calculate the weighted geometric mean, all the geometric mean for group the data. And so we shall say logarithm for the geometric mean is given by f summation f log x which is this total here divided by summation of f which is this total here and that is equal to 1.0462 so this is the logarithm of the geometric mean for this data this is the logarithm for us to get the actual value we get the anti-logarithm for this value and if you get it from the calculator you get the anti-log of 1.0462 being 11.12.